Hey, good afternoon. I totally took the wreath apart yesterday that I made with the cones. I just, it was too busy. It was just too over the top, not me. So what I've done, because of the size, the length of these cones, I decided that I would be better off making a swag out of two Dollar Tree candy canes. Now the mesh I'm using for this has a lot of burlap in it, so there's a lot of fibers flying around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you down here because I am going to do this on my live at 2 o'clock, but I thought I would go ahead and do this ahead of time. And for those of you that don't know how to do it, I thought it would be, make more sense to do this ahead of time, record it so you can go watch it if you haven't made a swag out of the candy canes. So I'm going to zoom you down because I'm going to put on my Norwex mask. These masks are incredible. They are so soft. They're not grabbing my ear and trying to pull it to the front of my face. They keep out a lot of, a lot of germs and everything else. So I sell these just for FYI. Um, don't fog up your glasses. They have silver in them, so it, it, it helps keep the bacteria from going through. Um, so I'm going to put this on. I'm going to zoom you down, and I'm going to finish this up. Then at 2 o'clock, we're going to decorate it, okay? All right, here we go. Let me see if it'll allow me to do it. It will. So I may not do a lot of talking because of the mask, but at least you won't have to look at me with it on. Okay, mask is in place. And I usually have an air filter going on down here too when I'm doing this, but boy, the fibers are just flying from this mesh. I love this mesh. It has burlap running through it. It has burlap here. So there is a lot of burlap in this. And it is dangerous for you to be inhaling this. So all I'm doing is I cut these at 18 inches. So I'm just doing a regular ruffle. I am using pipe cleaners, I know, but I'm only putting them on once. I'm not moving them back and forth. Now, what I've done in these sections, in each section, I've put two. Can you see them? So that's what I'm going to continue doing here. I'm just putting two in each section and sliding it over for the next one. So all I'm doing is grabbing it at the middle, twisting it, and sliding over, okay? I'm folding the edges down to keep some of the fraying under control. I'm not seeing a lot of fraying with this fabric mesh, so getting our pipe cleaner in the middle straddling the two, these two, one, two, the two middle ones, pulling it through the back and tightening. And we've already got two on this section, so we don't have to really push it that much. But see, this looks so much better against this fabric. I wanted this to pop. I even have some bubble, some um, bubble mesh here that I thought would be cute to put in every other tie. Just something different. And this is our sign. It's in my shop now. I licked it, so it's mine. And that's going to go in here. And then I'm going to do a big old bow. So again, I'm just trying to show you this part of it because I don't want to be doing this on my live because what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the air filter to filter out the particles in the house down here anyhow before my next live. So basically I'm just putting two in each section, straddling the two middle and twisting. Now, I have overlapped these. This is one candy cane. This is the second one. I've overlapped them right here. 
and zip tied them. Okay. I got pipe cleaners falling all over the place here. Sorry if it's hard to hear with my mask, but it's for my own protection. And I cut the pipe cleaners in half because I don't need a full one. And then push it forward. And then we've got two in that section. I will go back and count to see how many I cut. I cut them at 18 inches. I'm thinking there might be close to 28 pieces cut. I just think this will be a better choice of mesh. I could put these in my bow dabber to hold them. If I wanted to do like a bunch at a time. Get stuck on everything. <laughs> but basically you're just twisting it and twisting it. And then at the end you can just push all these down. And it's nice because this part of the frame is above the pipe cleaners, so it shouldn't rub on anything. Okay. So 18 inches cut, they're 10 inch mesh. And actually, it may just be easier to do it this way. Just bring it up through. And push it. I think it makes more sense to lay it down because you can always go back you could even um, twist these and then curl them into the frame or into the back of the mesh
See, all you have to do is fluff it up a little. There we go. We are ready for my live at two. And this is gonna go in the middle. And I think maybe a coon up here, one here, one here, and then my bow down at the bottom. Okay? All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.